Uh, welcome to Cassiopeia Berlin, where I have uh, Dawa from Dead Alley with me. Uh, first of all, uh, could you tell me a little bit about the band Dead Alley and what and who is Dead Alley? Yeah, yeah. First of all, good that you rem remembered my name in one go. Finally. <laughs> um, yeah, Death Alley, what can I say about it? Like, in essence, it's it's a rock and roll band, and we're from Amsterdam. Um, yeah, that's just the core of it. We play rock and roll, and uh, yeah, we do that with a lot of uh, enthusiasm, energy. <laughs> and I guess that, uh, yeah, f for me, what Death Alley musically is, is that, like, it takes from all sorts of, like, corners of rock and roll, and blends it together into like uh, uh, its own sound and uh, we're not too pinned down to one genre or one style specifically it's just like uh, fuck take everything that you want put it in the middle and and write your songs uh, okay uh, from where do you draw inspiration for your music yeah that's that's really broad I mean uh, as a teenager I exclusively listened to punk rock and that's still really, really fundamental in the, in the DNA of Death Alley, in its sound. But I mean, it's, it's as much inspired by, by Sabbath uh, and Hawkwind. Uh, and you hear, you know, you hear that we listen to Hendrix as well. And uh, uh, yeah, what have you. So I would say it's just like anything that, yeah, that comes to mind when you think about like rock and roll. You can find it, you know, in a way. But yeah, I would say... The early, early metal rock and roll. When when rock and roll became heavy, that's still really, uh, yeah, that's still really uh, important. Yeah, with a, a, a big, big twist of punk. Okay, and uh, you are playing at the uh, Wolf City Winter Festival tonight in Berlin. Right. Yeah. Uh, it seems like a big crowd tonight and a lot of bands playing. Uh, yeah. What are your expectations? Uh, I don't know. I uh, what I expect is just uh, another wild night in berlin i mean uh we love playing here we uh we play here a lot we we hang out here a lot uh, i must say that berlin is starting to feel like our second home um yeah just because we hang out with a lot of people from here and uh yeah most of the shows that we do here are just fucking cool and i mean the it's it's pretty early on in the evening at this moment but already the the atmosphere is fucking cool and yeah there's there's a good crowd the venue is good, so I mean, all the ingredients are there. So I wouldn't know what's standing in the way of uh, a proper, uh, energetic, sweaty, sexy show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, in a vein of uh, classic rock, uh, how important are live gigs for you? It's what we do. I mean, f it's live gigs for me is, yeah, I, I like, that's what I like the most about having a band. It's really like, that's where, where you have sort of the, the two balls of energy towards each other. You have the band on stage that projects towards or like beams towards the audience <clears throat> and, and it's coming back directly. The feedback feedback loop is like immediate. And that's where you like get your thrill, you know, you see what your music does to people. You can also, you know, people can also like listen to your record and tell you afterwards what they think of it. Or you can read reviews or whatsoever. But when you have like there's something in that energy that yeah that you cannot describe or or grasp any other way than just being there at that moment and for me that's that's the core of being in a, a rock and roll band yeah for sure or at least in death alley uh, yeah yeah uh, your new album superbia is uh, coming out on march yeah that's uh, right a couple of months so yeah. uh, what can you tell me already about that album what can i tell you uh, first of all that i'm personally fucking happy with the way it turned out it uh, took quite some effort, uh, and it's it's been a, a lengthy and uh, at times difficult process to get here. And I think, uh, or I know because I was there, uh, it's that's also reflected in the record. So um, I think stylistically, uh, it's still like it's with one leg in in the first record still, but it's developed greatly. And uh, yeah, the subject matter, I mean, it's not all too like cheerful. It's not, it's cu quite heavy at times uh, and intense, uh, but it's eight, eight new songs. And uh, yeah, what can I say? It's, uh, I'm fucking, fucking stoked for it to be uh, released very soon now. So that's all I can, can say about it.
Okay, so in the wake of the album, uh, what are your plans for 2018? Touring. Like I said, like, I mean, for me, making a record is the gateway to touring, right? So, like, we're just gonna we're just gonna play live shows as much as possible. We're gonna play. We're gonna do a tour in Europe. We're gonna do a lot of festivals in in our home country, but also like most of the time in in Germany and Europe. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna rock the place. Uh, Dead Alley was formed, if I'm not uh, not incorrect, uh, 2013. Um, how is it nowadays for like um, solid and old school rock bands? What do you mean? Like, how is it? Like, yeah, uh, yeah. How how is it? Uh, how is the like um, uh, atmosphere for that well, kind of music? Yeah, what I can say is that I mean, um, there is a lot of shit going on, and you see a lot of young and and enthusiastic bands emerge you see audience growing wider and um yeah i'm i'm really pleased to see like a big variety of people in the audience it's not not just like one heavy core of that particular uh, music type of fans it's not the old people that are looking for something from the past it's like uh, yeah, I see, co especially compared to like 10 years ago when I played in a, in a punk band, which was much more homogeneous as an audience. I see that like, yeah, it's it's diverse and it's young people are hungry and uh, to, to hear new stuff. And I think it's uh, it's very vivid. It's really uh, yeah fruitful. And I'm, I'm really happy to be part of that right now in this day and age. Okay, and uh, then for the easy question, of course. Uh, so, how do you see the state of rock and roll at the moment? Uh, uh, yeah. What kind of bands are there out there for people? Nah, I mean that's what I also just said. I think there's a lot going on. Uh, there's, I mean, obviously there is. We're now in a in a time frame where a specific. Uh, uh, age back a couple of decades back is very popular to uh, to be inspired by so you see quite some uh, yeah i mean the, the the references to older music are very much there but i think that like uh, if you if you turn that into something modern so that you don't only repeat what's already been done uh, and i think i see that going on quite a lot not not every band does that and not every band wants to do that but i i feel that yeah i mean Rock and roll exists by the grace of the people doing it. And as long as there's people like doing the bands, showing up at the concerts, putting up uh, festivals like these, yeah, it's, it's alive. And uh, I, I don't know, I think it can, it can, uh, it might be growing, yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, well, it's a weird one, but uh, how filthy and dark exactly are the basements and sewers of Amsterdam? I read you guys are from there, so... You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think... Uh, I mean, they're as filthy uh, and dirty as you want them to be. It's what you make of it. But, I mean, it's not only in Amsterdam. It's also really that what brings us to Berlin, what brings us to Hamburg, what brings us to whatever uh, small town in France. It's like, yeah, trying to, to find places that are, you know, that, that are filthy and dark enough to allow for doing the thing that we want to do. So not, not try to like do a, a mud wrestle game on your grandma's new carpet, but like have the dirty and, 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 and dark setting already to just like go with it and create your own your own world your own world within the world yeah yeah and uh, how filthy and dark exactly is a dead alley <laughs> as dirty and dark <laughs> as the basements that we <laughs> that we live in okay and uh lastly i'm sorry about this but uh, i still have to ask uh, so uh, what are your favorite rock bands um how many can I name? Uh, I don't know, from one An to one hundred. <laughs> yeah, a number. Uh, a favorite bands: Poison Idea, Bad Brains, The Devil's Blood, uh, Dead Boys and the Damned, Iggy Pop, Black Sabbath. You wanted to hear Black Sabbath, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe not. Hawkwind, Motorhead, yeah. uh, and the Beatles.
Okay, uh, great. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you so much. And uh, I know you will have a great night tonight and everybody else yeah. too. So uh, just break a leg. Cool, man. And you'll be there. So uh, cheers. Thank you so much.